take a little. Oh, oh. Welcome back to another sesh, everybody. We're in my car today. I don't know if this makes any sense to anyone else, but I like the way that pens rip in a car. You know, there's no, there's a vacuum, there's no AC going. Like it just kind of, it's really easy to just do some tricks or like I'm not even a vapor like that or anything right you know what I mean let's get let's get a little comfortable right here I'm start lounging um this should be a fucking cool one I'm not gonna lie we have a very very nice gift box a mystery box if you will hang on there we go that should that should be a little better friends over at hash and flowers sent me this little goodie box with a bunch of flavors inside and I also already destroyed it I had no idea how to open it it was like the most brain dead stoner moment I've ever had I, I just like ripped it which all I needed to do was lift this which is crazy so as you can see in here oh we have one two three four five six seven different flavors of pod right now not cart because they have a own little pod system they even gave us some of their eddies four packs of their eddies which is crazy but that's not the focus of today the focus of today is of these lovely damn this car is so tight right you realize until I like try to do a video in here and try to move around um, we have some flavors right here bro okay a lot of variety but we also have a double up so we have two of these carts so I feel like that we should start with these we got the tres leches and then we got the bums breath a little, a little South Park inspiration right there which is beautiful man I actually have had the tres leches before but not in cart form if you don't know mountain man melts makes some of the most quality rosin on the rec market and tres leches is one of their flavors that they run so you can go to a shop get a jar of this this stuff is smoking but a lot of this stuff i have not tried in either pod or rosin form well i guess it's all rosin but like in either pod or jar form you know what i mean so i'm pretty fucking excited bro the first try of the tres leches in cart form let's see if it translates you know what i mean i do like their little like the packaging if that makes any sense like their um batteries come in the exact same size which is pretty sick so we got there we got the little condom on the top and on the bottom liquids looking good i never really understood like some people i've seen like cart reviews and pod reviews on youtube and then they'll go into like oh yeah the color's looking good but it's like all like i could get every single one of these pods probably has a different color and they're all just as gas you know what i mean so like I mean, color kind of matters sometimes, but you can't just look at a pod and be like, oh, yeah, that shit is trash. Actually, if it's like fucking purple or like <laughs> it's green or like you got some slurp juice from fucking Fortnite, you, you could probably tell if a card is bad right off the looks, but you can't tell a pod is gas right off the looks. It can be the lightest, most see-through color ever, and that's actually kind of sketchy. Like you want this golden oil, but you don't know how gold. Sometimes it's more yellow. Sometimes it's more of like a bronze and like... It's just oil, bro. It's the way it comes out. You know, it's the processes that they use. One of the cool things about these batteries is that there's three different temp settings, which I feel like is kind of normal for a regular battery, but for like a proprietary pod system, there's not a lot. Like you just kind of stick it in and smoke it most of the time, you know? So I do appreciate that. Starting off with green. Tres leches, our first rip. Let's get her going. My foot's on the brake for some reason, bro. I'm tweaking. I think green is the lowest. Blue is the middle and red is the highest. That tasted good. Usually I rip them all on green, I'm not gonna lie. Because I feel like you still get a lot of vapor, you know what I mean? Like that was that was a good cloud. You do get a bigger cloud with blue, but I feel like you just doesn't it doesn't taste that good. You know what I mean? <coughs> this is the real bang. <coughs> I don't even know why you would go red. But you know what? Just because we want to try it out. Let's see. Let's see. It almost tastes burnt. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like that's the case with every single pod battery system or whatever. It's like, if you turn up the temp too hot, or if you suck it for too long and you're taking crazy blinkers all the time, by the time it's your fifth blinker, like, the pod's destroyed. Like, the metal's fucked up. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really taste the same. Like, that. May maybe even the material on the inside is burnt. Maybe it's not the coil. I don't know. But I feel like taking blinkers just invites a lot of, like, sketchy things to go down. You know what I mean? more rip of the tres leches it almost gives like not even tres leches how it's like milky it almost gives like a cinnamon vibe like i'm getting a slight amount of cinnamon give me a slight sweetness to this solid it's good stuff for sure i don't know if it's my favorite that i've ever had from them though i will say i don't know if it's in this box that they gave me but they have a honey bananas <coughs> which might just be like a top five cart for me of all time like it's the, the flavor is bananas on that thing. Tres leches is cool. I don't think it's their most banging flavor. I'm gonna have to give that, um, 
It didn't blow me away, honestly. I'm gonna give it a seven, seven and a half, because it was smooth. Like the thing, all of this is rosin, right? And not just like food grade bullshit rosin. Like it's, it's. You see the stuff that's in the jars. I'm assuming that's the stuff that's in here. You know what I mean? It goes through a different process, obviously. So I trust all the shit that I'm smoking here. It's all gonna get me stoned. Like it's all super smooth, gonna get me stoned. But at this point, I think I'm reaching for flavor the most. You know what I mean? Of course, the hit matters. Of course, the the smoothness matters. But I think for carts, I think we can all agree. Like, we're all gonna get high from them, right? Like, no matter how many times we fucking hit this cart, it's gonna get us high. So we want the most enjoyable high. We want that whole process to be the most enjoyable along the way. So, let's see what they got with this. Oh. Oh, fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> the car's a transformer, bro. I thought it was about to start talking to me and shit. That's crazy. Um, I do like the magnet in this, by the way. There is some... I don't know why that's not an industry standard, bro. I'll still buy pods and batteries, and it's not a magnet. I'll have to, like, shove that shit in there, and I'm like, come on, man. That's crazy. Second flavor, we got the Bum's Breath. A little South Park action. I'm actually not sure what the cross of this is. I'm guessing God's Breath and something else. I think God's Breath is a very very popular strain if I'm not mistaken okay this one's a lot more OG than the other one this one's a lot more like and it doesn't even have a hint of sweetness bro you're getting fucking skunk smoke <laughs> it's not my cup of tea <coughs> but it's still smacking see this is where like the score is kind of like I don't want to give this other one a seven and a half now. Like, I want to bump it up a little bit because I feel like this is like a seven, you know? Like, this is good smoke. <coughs> I just don't like the flavor. But so, like, is that... That's not a five out of ten because, like, I feel like a five is bad. Like, I wouldn't even want to smoke it. Like, I would finish this cart. It just wouldn't be the best. You know what I mean? But I would... Mm. I'm a harsh critic, too. Damn, dude. Holy shit. I'm just getting fucking cooked. Like, I'm so stoned right now already. This is awesome, bro. And it's not even like a dirty stone. Like, I hate cart highs for the most part. You know, like, there's something about the distillate or something, even about the live resin sometimes that's like, it just hits your brain differently. You're like, yeah. I feel like half the time I smoke carts, I just feel stupid. You know, like, not high. Because when you're high, you're like, woo, you're smiling, like you're up and at them. Like, that's what my interpretation of high is. Like, when I'm high off a cart, I'm like, holy shit, my head is heavy. Like, I feel like I'm nodding out. You know what I mean? Like, crazy cards give crazy highs. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna give it a 7.2. Actually, I'm gonna keep this one a 7.5, and I'm gonna give this a 7.2. It's right underneath it. Before we get to the next one, let's get into a bevy break. Let me know in the comments right now what bevy you're rocking, bro. Actually, let me know what combo you're rocking. What cart and what bevy are you rocking right now? I imagine it's a lot of cold fires, probably a lot of stizzies. I want to see some 710 pods in there. I want to see some good stuff, man. Shout out to Motagua, though. We got the Pixie Sticks collab right here. The Blood Orange. This gets me stupid. Like, I was talking about just carts getting me stupid. This will make me drool on myself. Like, piss and shit myself. Like, this stuff gets me fucking. Like, I can't go out in public sometimes, you know? People were like, bro, are you okay? <laughs> like, what's wrong? <laughs> and I'm like, nah, nothing, bro. I'm just off that motagua. Like, certain certain flavors just hit, bro. I don't know. Certain certain edibles just hit me a little bit differently, especially if it's, like, hash rosin in there like that. So shout out to them for sure. Um, let's get into a banger flavor, man. Do that. Oh! Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah. All right. This is a honey bananas pot, bro. When I'm telling you that, like, this is honestly why I made this video, if we're going to be honest. Like... I honestly didn't expect those other ones to be a 7.5 and, and a 7.2. Like, this cart right here is so fucking fire that I thought all the other ones were going to be like, they all got to be 9s. You know, but you can't hit on everything or you can't have, you know, absolute bangers with everything. But nah, bro, when I tell you that this honey bananas, I can't even open it. This shit right here, bro, is Terp City. It's fucking... It's straight flavor town, like, dude what the fuck like it's literally one of those hits that just makes you smile after and you're like nah there's no fucking way like yep yep not much more needs to be said about this one to be honest with you like 
I'm gonna just smoke this one the rest of the time if I'm not responsible. But we got <coughs> we got work to do. Uh oh, what do we got here? A dirty Z. So I have damn, that's a fucking crazy packaging, bro. A little bit of a nuke going off. Flavor Town, man. Flavor Town's being exploded right now. Nuke Town, bro. The new COD came out today. What the fuck? I was grinding that shit. Nah, man. We're grinding, bro. Trust me. We're gonna grind the new COD. It's COD season. It's uh, it's drift season. I'm trying to get better at drifting, bro. The simulation and shit. So hit up the streams, man. Uh, we stream on every platform now, type shit. We're streaming on YouTube. We also stream on Kick and Twitch at the same time. So make sure to head over there, man. Let's see what's good. I'm trying to get a goddamn kick deal, man. For real. On some fucking what? They're getting some athlete contracts, bro. Give me like a million. I don't even need five, ten. I don't need these ridiculous numbers that these people are getting, bro. Give me fucking one. Dirty Z. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. All right. All right. Maybe we should have started with this one because it would have been like, you know, keeping my expectations up. I was honestly, I don't know if you could tell, I was kind of let down by the first two. I was like, no, like, that sucks. Like, I thought I was going to have to, like, scrap the video almost. Because I just don't like making videos on shit I don't like. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, damn, this shit's so good if I don't like it. You know what I mean? The first two weren't going to going for me. But this one right here and the last one, the honey bananas. Oh, this is it. This one honestly might taste better than the honey bananas. There's no fucking way. Nah, wait. I don't know what the dirty comes from, but I'm getting great Z Terps right here. I'm getting fantastic Z Terps. Some of the most well translated Z Terps I've ever had in a pen type shit. And that's not even to, that's not even to boost them. But they might just be deserved to be boosted, bro. Fuck. Wow, fuck. Fuck. If the honey bananas is a 9.25, I think this is a 9. It's right there. It might be a 9.1. It's like right there, bro. Wow. I'd smoke that any day of the week. Like any day of the week, bro. Wow. I also got the water, man. Don't even worry about it, bro. Damn, this is the first time I've proper boxed this car. Well, I guess we already did the video, and that was like a hot box for sure. Yeah, what the fuck am I talking about? I guess by myself. <clears throat> we just chill. Yo, just make sure to sub to the car channel, guys. I don't know. I'm trying, bro. We're like five thousand away from a hundred K subs. What? I'm gonna get a plaque? No way, dude. Listen, I've never gotten a YouTube plaque before. All right, never got one on hundred K on this channel. Never got one on a million on this channel. I'm pumped. All right, I know a lot of my peers have it, and I was always just so goddamn salty. I was like, bro. Even some of my WeTuber friends have them, like, for their main channel. And I'm not saying anyone doesn't deserve it. But I'm saying if, like, I can't have it, then why do some other people? Like, that's fucked up. Like, I should have it too, is all I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to strip theirs away. I'm trying to say that why the fuck can't I have a million plaque? But I can have a 100k plaque. And maybe one day we'll hit a million on that channel too. I'll fucking... Bro, I'll be coming everywhere. What? The second 1 million channel is so sexy. Next up, we got a little purple box right here, man. We got Cranberry Skittles. Okay, this is kind of what Hash and Flowers is like known for that I really like. Like, they be getting after the flavors. What other company is running Cranberry Skittles? Or what other company? I mean, I guess there's maybe one or two more doing Honey Bananas, but like, everyone's doing papaya. Everyone's doing GMO. Everyone's doing a little bit of Tropicana or something. You know, it's like, it's cool. I'm, I'm down for it. Everyone's doing Z Terps. Garlic something. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. I like it. Whatever. But Cranberry Skittles just sounds like something I like. Or I guess that is Z Terps. The fuck am I talking about? You know what I'm trying to get at that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, okay. Z Terps, definitely. Not as heavy as the last ones, though. That Dirty Z was fucking smacking me. This one. It's definitely better than the Bum's Breath. And I think it's on par with the Tres Leches. I think this is like a 7.25, maybe a 7.5. Oh shit, damn, I don't know, once you like really look for the flavor, you know, then it's like, oh my god, it's popping now, but maybe I'm just fucking stoned, like, bro, I'm hot. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, bro. <coughs> 
Damn, I actually, mm, I think I might like it like a tad bit better than Tres Leches. I'm gonna give it a 7.6. Sevens though, three sevens and two nines. They're, I mean, it's not hit or miss because it's still a smoke if it misses, but the hits are hits. You know what I mean? The hits are hits. We got one more. We got one more because this one's GMO. I was just talking about GMO, but this is what I'm talking about, bro. Grape jelly donut. We got a grape jelly donut pod. What does that even mean? I've never even had grape jelly donut, brother. See, look, like this, this is what I'm talking about before. This, um, the color of this is way darker than the other ones, but it, it's like the starting material that matters. It obviously goes through the same process. Like, it, it, it don't really matter the color sometimes, man. What if this one's smoking better than all the other ones? Let's see. Oh, fuck. All right. What the fuck? Wait. Dude. That might be one of the most, like, complex weed flavors I've ever tasted. I got another flavor, like, five seconds after the hit was done. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, hang on. You definitely get some grape on the inhale. But then that... The exhale is just something fucking, I don't think it's a, maybe donut, maybe donut's a, like a good way to put it, I guess. It's like a, like an earthy exhale, like a super earthy exhale. I don't know if I would describe it as a donut, like sweet, but it's sweet on the inhale and then you get, nah, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I don't know if I like it as much as the other ones. Damn it. <coughs> Batteries gonna die. Cars gonna die. <coughs> oh, thank God this is the last one. You know what? <coughs> We're the box a little bit. <coughs> Holy shit. Wow, I'm stoned, dude. I don't know if this made me significantly higher. I mean, it probably made me just as high as the other ones. But I'm gonna have to give this one. I don't think it's an... Mm, damn, wait. Fuck, it tastes so good. Fuck, it tastes so good. Is it a nine, though? I feel like nine's such a cra- Like, it did make me have a crazy reaction and everything. Mmm, I'm just a stickler, man. I'm a motherfucking critic, you know? Like, ten is impossible to get, almost. Nines are tough to come by. The fact that I already gave out two is like- Because those were well-deserved of a nine. Like, when I smoke those again, I'm like, holy shit. This one, the flavor is like- it's really prominent, but I don't know if it's a nine to me, you know? Wow, such an interesting little something going on right here. Eight point nine. I don't know what doesn't make it a nine. It doesn't give me like a wow factor. It does give me a wow factor. What the fuck? I'm so stoned, bro. Eight point nine nine. I'm gonna give it an eight point nine nine. Um, thanks for watching, boys. I am absolutely cooked. Let's go see what Kento's up to. Fuck, I'll clean all that up later. <laughs> Too stoned to deal with all that. Bruh. You got more car parts? You're going on soon. Make sure to sub to the car channel, man. You know what I mean? Oh, you're waiting for us, buddy. I love you. Look, he got groomed recently, and they put this little scarf on him. He's looking good. You're looking good, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I see your face. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Um, Hash Flowers is a motherfucking go. Me and Kento prove. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I love you.